Peter might not be X-Force material, but these guys definitely are. Peter, any power you want to tell us about? I don't, I don't have one. Um, I, I just saw the ad. You're in. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 characters we want to see in the X-Force movie. Hold up, Manny, do you like comic books? Of course I do. Ricky, do you like superheroes? Absolutely. If you like all that stuff, head over to Mojo Talks, where we have a discussion where we ask the question, what if Deadpool were cast in the 80s? Merc with a mullet. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Click on the link below and enjoy. For this list, we're looking at characters who should be enlisted for Drew Goddard's upcoming X-Force film. We've excluded established heroes who have already joined X-Force in this movie universe, such as Cable, Domino, and of course, Deadpool. Number 10, Mojo. <laughs> An exaggerated caricature of network executives, Mojo uses television to control viewers and rule over the Mojoverse, forcing others to participate in mindless programs. Given his bizarre nature, Mojo would probably feel out of place in a straightforward X-Men movie. Mojo would be right at home in a more satirical environment, however, making him a worthy antagonist for Deadpool's X-Force. Seeing how a former reality TV star is currently in the White House, Mojo could also bring some timely commentary to the table. You may be the champion of the arena, but I am the undefeated master of public opinion. Number 9, Siren. With the sonic scream ability, this Irish mutant admittedly has a fair deal in common with DC's Black Canary. We're sure Deadpool wouldn't hesitate to point this out in an X-Force movie. Similarities aside, Siren still stands out as a unique character thanks to her cool origin story and relatable struggles with alcoholism. She's also been romantically tied to multiple X-Force members, meaning we could see a love triangle between her, Warpath, and Deadpool. In the movies, Siren has only made a couple minor cameos, although her father Banshee was prominently featured in X-Men First Class. If she got a larger role in X-Force, we'd scream at the top of our lungs with excitement. Number 8, Mr. Sinister. Enjoy your revenge, Morph. I know I am. The leader of a mutant assassin team known as the Marauders, Mr. Sinister, aka Nathaniel Essex, would certainly be a formidable foe for the X-Force. This iconic villain has already been teased in a post credit scene for X-Men Apocalypse. There were originally plans to introduce him in Logan, although this never came into fruition. Actor John Hamm was set to appear as the character in The New Mutants, but his scene was reportedly left on the cutting room floor. After being benched so many times, Mr. Sinister needs to make his film debut already. I knew I was right. Number 7, Angel slash Archangel. Warren Worthington III is another X-Men character who has made a couple of film appearances, although he's never quite gotten his due. Angel's entire storyline seemed needlessly tacked on in X-Men The Last Stand. X-Men Apocalypse came closer to getting Archangel right, although he still ultimately felt underdeveloped. This flying mutant could finally be done justice if the filmmakers just delved deeper into his complex nature. Like many other great superheroes, Warren is constantly torn between good and evil making for a fascinating internal struggle. Since characters like Deadpool and Cable are more on the anti-hero side, Archangel would fit in well with the X-Force crew, assuming Deadpool doesn't make fun of his wings too much. Number 6, Wolfsbane. Strong guy, Quicksilver, Wolfsbane. You know what this movie needs? A werewolf. Okay, so Ron Sinclair isn't technically a werewolf, but she is a mutant who can transform into a wolf-like creature. That's basically splitting hairs. Anyway, actress Maisie Williams is already generating enormous buzz for her upcoming portrayal of the character in The New Mutants. If her performance lives up to the hype, we'd love to see her team up with X-Force next. Wolfsbane has been affiliated with both of these superhero teams in the comics, providing leeway for her to cross over between films. Where New Mutants is taking the horror movie route, X-Force's lighter tone would allow us to see the character in a whole new way. Number 5, Boom Boom. Tabitha Smith is a founding member of X-Force. As her name suggests, Boom Boom is both literally and figuratively a ticking time bomb. She possesses the ability to produce explosive yellow orbs that are in no way Dragon Balls. While she has yet to make an appearance on the silver screen, her fun personality and fiery nature would make her a welcome addition to the X-Force film. The comics also saw Cable act as a mentor to Boom Boom, helping her master her powers. It'd be interesting to see this dynamic explored in a movie, especially since Cable has already been established as a badass dad. Number four, Cannonball. Where are you going? I got me a train to catch. 
This hard-hitting Kentucky native is also one of the first mutants to join the X-Force roster in the comics. Samuel Zachary Guthrie not only comes to view Cable as a father figure, but also develops romantic feelings for Boom Boom. With the ability to blast himself off the ground like a rocket, this guy can leave behind a serious trail of damage, and X-Force would be lucky to have him. Until then, we can look forward to seeing Cannonball make his cinematic debut alongside Wolfsbane in The New Mutants, with Stranger Things actor Charlie Heaton in the role. Number 3. Warpath While actor Boo Boo Stewart didn't get a ton of screen time as Warpath in X-Men Days of Future Past, the character deserves more of an arc in this film. Like Boom Boom and Cannonball, James Proudstar was also there when X-Force first began. Before siding with the good guys though, this Native American mutant was blinded by revenge, blaming the X-Men for the death of his brother. Once he started putting his superhuman strength and speed towards something positive, however, Warpath emerged as one of X-Force's most prominent players. Being a mainstay of the team, we can't imagine an X-Force movie without him. Number 2. Gambit Much like Deadpool, Remy LeBeau, aka Gambit, is another fan-favorite X-Men character who was completely wasted in X-Men Origins, Wolverine. Fox has been promising to give us a standalone Gambit movie starring Channing Tatum for a while now. Every time the project starts to gain momentum though, it hits another roadblock. While the film is currently slated for a 2019 release, the lack of a director has a skeptical to say the least. An appearance in the X-Force movie could be the shot in the arm Gambit needs to get his own spin-off. While he's not a member in the comics, this card-carrying mutant's wit and charisma would make him an ideal candidate for the cinematic version of the team. Number 1. X-23 Not okay. Seeing how Hugh Jackman has retired from the franchise, chances are we're never going to get a real team-up between Wolverine and Deadpool in the theaters. However, Wolverine's daughter can still cross paths with Deadpool and his fellow X-Force members as she's done in the comics. Actress Daphne Keene delivered a badass breakthrough performance as X-23 in Logan, earning widespread acclaim. While she's more than capable of carrying her own solo movie, Laura Kinney could also easily steal the show in an ensemble piece like X-Force. Granted, it might be a little complicated since Logan took place in the year 2029. Then again, time travel plays a significant role in Deadpool 2, which definitely leaves the door open for X-23. So what do you think of the list? Let us know in the comments, and if you like this kind of stuff, make sure to head over to Mojo Talks, where we have a discussion asking what if Deadpool were to be cast in the 80s? Who'd play Deadpool? Who'd play Colossus? Click on the link below, and you'll find out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and subscribe for new videos every day.